The PS5's DualSense controller is awesome, and you can actually use it on PC too to play any game you like. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. Let's do this. If you are wanting to use a controller through Steam, it's simply a case of plug and play, and support for the adaptive triggers as well as haptic feedback should be coming to Steam soon too. However, for any other games, you first want to go to the link in the description to install DS4 Windows. Download the latest version for your operating system, then extract the zip file and then open up the DS4 Windows application to install it via the app data method. Also, let me know in the comments what PC game you're going to be using the controller on, as I'm quite intrigued. You now want to go through the process of installing the driver required by just selecting step 1. With the driver installed, you now want to connect your controller to your PC, either directly with a USB-C data transfer cable for best results, or you can connect it via Bluetooth. To connect wirelessly, go to settings, then devices, then bluetooth, then add a new bluetooth device while simultaneously holding the PS button and share button on the DualSense controller in order to put it into pairing mode where the light bar will be flashing blue. Once a controller has been found, simply choose to connect to it. Next, go back to DS4 Windows where you can hit finished, then click on the start button at the bottom right of the app. Your controller will now show under the controllers tab at the top left of the screen. If you really want to, you can mess around with the colour of the light bar in these options. The touchpad will act as a mouse pad, whilst the share button will typically function as a touchpad would if you had the controller connected to a console. This can be altered in the controller profile options though. To have the software run seamlessly and easily, I recommend you head on over to the settings tab, then allow the program to start when you first turn on your PC, as well as instruct it to start minimised. That means it will be simply a case of just turning the controller on in the future, and it will connect automatically without doing anything else, even after a complete reboot of your computer. With all this set up, you should now be able to boot into any game using the DualSense. Rumble also works, albeit the haptics only simulate the rumble effects, so you don't expect experience true haptic feedback or adaptive triggers. You ideally need a PS5 for a full experience. If a game you are trying to play does not recognise the controller, close the game then go to settings and check the option to hide the DS4 controller. Now boot the game back up and all issues should be resolved. I myself have not found any game with this version of DS4 Windows where you do have to enable this option however, so I would try to stay away from turning it on. If this video helped you and you want to improve your PlayStation experience, then please consider subscribing to the channel with all notifications, as well as liking the video just to say thank you if your controller is now connected. If you want to know how to use the DualSense easily on PS4, then click the video on screen now. Anyway, that's all from me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.